Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a different video, nothing to do with food. It is a sponsored video. Thank you, Timu, for partnering with me to make this video. I've always been curious about this company. It's a very similar platform to Amazon. They have amazing things in every category, guys. There are, there's fashion, there's jewelry, there's home goods, just uh, anything you need, just like Amazon, you can find on Timu. So they reached out to me and asked if I would like to try out some of their things. And of course I said yes, because uh, I am forever on Amazon. So I wanted to see the comparison. Now I will be honest with you. Some of the goods that I got are wonderful. A few have exceeded expectation and some of them did not meet expectation. And you know, I'm only honest with you guys. Um, they have given me the products. They, they allowed me to choose them myself and they sent them to me without having to pay for them. And they also want to pay me for this video, but I declined. I am not taking any PayPal money for this video because I want and I, I expect to give you my honest opinion with everything. So um, with that being said, let's get into the Timu haul. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is something that I've been wanting to get actually on Amazon for a long time and never did. I don't know why, probably because I have, you'll, well, let me show you what it is first and then you'll understand why. It's one of those gravity salt shakers. I use a lot of Redmond sea salt and it's not in the rock formation. So I really didn't expect to have a need for this. However, uh, when we grill, when I cook, I think this might be something easy. And also, you know, when I have family over or friends over and we're having dinner, this might be nice on the table. So this actually exceeded expectations. I thought this wasn't going to be as nice. So let me show you uh, what it looks like. I'm going to open the box. I have already put the batteries in there so that it works uh, to show you. So anyway, here's the box. It comes in. It does come with instructions, but <laughs> and now because I have batteries in it, it's going to go off. It comes wrapped in bubble wrap, which was really nice. And I absolutely, you guys know my taste. I'm a very modern, contemporary type person. I think this black matte top, and this is, I feel like this is glass, but it looks like plastic, but it feels like glass. It's like a very thick and sturdy bottom. I love its sleek look, and I love the fact that you can fill this with rock salt, you know, Himalayan pink salt. And when you turn it upside down, you don't have to use your hands to grind it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. See? It will come out and grind it on its own. Now, you guys know I'm a nurse, right? And I do a lot of work with seniors. This would be if you have an elderly person in your family that has difficulty using their hands that, you know, this would be a great gift. I kid you not. And this was very inexpensive compared to what Amazon sells it for. I was actually really surprised. The only thing that was misleading was that it said two. And I thought one I could use for pepper, one I could use for salt, but only one came. That's fine. Uh, I love it and I will use it. All right, so the next thing I got is another household item to make my life easy. We have a brand new Samsung washer and dryer because we've only been living in this new house for a year. And I've noticed lately, because I'm a freak with the dryer, when you pull out the filter, I like to clean it every single time. You guys know my son is a career fireman, so safety, especially with dryer safety and you know anything that could catch on fire is always in the forefront of my mind so i've been noticing when i pull out the filter sometimes deep down inside i can see there's a little bit of lint and i tried to use a coat hanger but i don't have any that i could bend because i have all the hangers that are velvet <laughs> so i bought well i bought i ordered this from timu it's a dryer, I'm gonna open it and show you guys. It's a dryer 
Look at this. <laughs> I'm going to lift this up. Or maybe you're supposed to leave it bent. And you stick it inside. You stick it inside. I can't even say it with a straight face. You stick it in. You stick this in. You stick it in. <laughs> well, whatever you do, you're supposed to stick this in and move it around. And when you pull it out. Is this rated PG or rated R here? When you pull it out, there's the lint, whatever's underneath, will be just caught on this brush. You know what? Let's go try it out right now. Let's go try. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is gonna be really funny. I think the dryer is actually, all right, so it is empty. But you see this where it says clean after each use? So when I pull this out, see the lint on here? We have to clean that off, but I want to show you this. This is what I'm talking about. Is there any lint that you can see in there? All right, let's try it. Here's the brush. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to stick it in and it's down in there. And I'm just going to try to wiggle it in and see what comes out. I don't know if there's anything in there because I think we're pretty good at cleaning it, but you never know. Oh yeah. Ooh. Did it catch anything? There you go. See? I mean, it is pretty clean, but it did catch whatever was left inside. And now, see all this? It brought it to the surface. So now I can clean. There's nothing really there, but. Hard to really see guys, but um, yeah, I'm gonna be using this. Let me go clean this off and I'll go back to the table and we'll continue with the Timu haul. And by the way, I screwed up. Ah, you could see my reflection. This is not a Samsung. This is LG. All right, let's get back to the show. <laughs> let me come back in here. All right guys, let me. All right, so the next item I got is a piece of clothing. Uh, I am so into the flowy wide leg pants, especially for summer when you don't want anything tight up against your skin. So I got myself a pair of long flowy pants. It came with a little shirt, which was ridiculous. I don't even think it would fit a two year old. I kid you not, but the pants were fine. And I ordered them in an extra large, because keep in mind, all of this comes from China. So the way that they have their clothing sizes is much different, especially for a mature woman like myself in the 50s. You don't, you're not rocking the junior sizes. And if you are, good for you. But uh, I figured for someone with some curves, you really need to you know, go higher in sizes. So I got an extra large. The pants fit great. The shirt doesn't even fit a teddy bear. <laughs> so let me show you the pants. Hold on. Actually, before I show you the pants, I want to show you this shirt. I'm serious. This is absolute ridiculousness. Look at this shirt. <laughs> Timu, I think you guys are great, but like, seriously, if you're selling a pair of pants that are in a size large or extra large, you have to kind of make the shirt the same. This is the shirt. And I'm not saying, you know, it's just, it's just way too small. And, and I'm not mocking it. It's just not my thing. All right, let me show you the pants. Hold on. All right, guys, can you see me? I'm going to hold up the pants. I will show them to you on in another video because I'm literally just unloading, but I want to show you. These are the pants. They're wide leg. Don't mind my outfit today, I'm cleaning. All right, so wide leg pants with this kind of like tribal pattern. I, I really like it. You see, this is how they would fit. They are stretchy, so there's plenty of room. These will fit very nicely. Ah, oh, I wanna show you what they look like on, so stay tuned for that. All right, moving on to more home style stuff. I am a stickler when it comes to our bathrooms. I like to scrub the tub. I don't like a ring on the tub. I don't like any of that. And I use blue and purple shampoo. And I know that Brittany 
also uses um, something to keep her brassiness down. So I found this. <laughs> it's called a magic brush. This magic brush is an electric brush that you can use to clean anything. You can clean your toilet, you can clean pretty much anything. Uh, comes with instructions, but look. Look at this. I'm, this is almost like, remember that Clarisonic that women used to use on their skin and their faces? It's very similar. It has a lot of different attachments. It has this nice woolly attachment. It has a sponge attachment. This looks like, you know, the sponges that you use in your sink. It has this, I guess, to scrub pots and pans. I think this is, see, like, look at the picture. It's showing you, you can use it in the tub, you can use it in the kitchen, what have you. And here's another brush. Looks like that. It is USB chargeable, which I thought was really cool. There's the charger. And here it is. Let's look at it. I haven't even opened it yet. So you can see it has an on off button and I believe, yep, yeah, this is where you plug in your USB charger and this is what the top looks like. So let's just say we want to use this, right? Let's just see, let's see how this goes on. So can you guys see behind me? I'm going to try to get the wall behind me so you can see, but you just pop it on. Easy peasy. I have to charge it. We're going to test it out. Again, I'm just showing you the products. Once I load up the salt, I'll show you how that works. I'll try the outfits on. We'll clean the bathroom together one day. But let me see if it's, oh yeah, then you just pop it off. This is great. So something like this with a little bit of soft scrub uh, bathtub cleaner would be great. And I don't know necessarily if this would scratch porcelain or not but I know I could use that in the shower. Anyway, I'm, this is going to be designated for the bathroom. All right, so another item, and I'm sorry that the angle here is not the best. Uh, what I want to show you, though, is the bags. Every single product comes in a bag, and the bags are very thick, like a Ziploc. Look at the top. So if you, like what I plan to do with these bags, I'm not going to throw them in the garbage, I'm going to use these probably um, for sweaters or anything that I wanna pack up and put in a Rubbermaid bin up in the attic. I think these are great to have. This thing is so cool. I'm so excited. I haven't even opened it, but you know, I, I maintain my eyebrows when I, I get them waxed maybe once a year and then I just continue you know, plucking and doing what I have to do. You know, I can see my dimple coming out. It comes along with the carnivore weight loss. <laughs> anyway, um, and so I decided because, you know, menopause, you get a couple of little hairs growing. Well, I do. I have like two little hairs here. I always like to, you know, keep this area clean and waxed. And I was like, I'm gonna get one of these waxers. This is called a wax heater wax want to laugh your ass off look at this wax casserole how is this a casserole all right wax casserole which makes me laugh and it does say on here professional use only which i am not i am not a cosmetologist at all so i'm not a professional so i hope i don't burn my face <laughs> i can't this <laughs> stuff so as you can see too the box comes a little bit crushed if you were buying this for somebody, this would embarrass me. I don't like to give boxes that are crushed. It looks cheap, but let's see what the product looks like. That's pretty cool. Comes with wax beads. It comes with your instructions. Comes with another one. It actually comes with a few of them. Look, all different wax beads your sticks to add the wax to your face. This is actually really cool. All right, so here's the base. It's got your plug. It's got this little metal insert, which obviously heats up your little metal bowl. And this is where you pour your wax in. And I'm gonna show you the top. 
If any of you guys are cosmetologists and you're familiar with this thing and you have any advice for me, please leave a comment below. Here's the top. So it would essentially look like that. And it's got off and on and it has, wow, it goes from 160 all the way up to 240, which is very easy to turn the knob. I'm excited about this. Like I said, I like to do my, my uh, above my lip and you know, the little pieces, stragglers, hitchhikers that are starting to come out and uh, also want to do the brows. So I'm excited to try it. My only downfall of it is the box that came kind of banged up. All right, so again, I told you what kind of stickler I am with the bathroom. I got this, I thought was kind of interesting. Let's open it up. First of all, the box came crushed, ripped, busted. Again, why? Why does it have to be like that? But anyway, let's pull out the product. And do I need this thing? No. This is what it looks like. It's very small, which is great because it can fit right behind the toilet. And it is one of these. Guys, I don't know, I've never tried this, but again, I'm really into being sanitary and clean. And I know that those toilet brushes that we all use with the, you know, you buy them in the store, very unsanitary. Bacteria and such really doesn't stick to this rubber. It does stick to bristles, so be careful with that. So anyway, it has this little stand and it also has extension. Oh, and a little brush, how cute. So I'm gonna let, well, this is the way it's supposed to go, I guess. So you put it in here. And then you can clean your toilet with it. And then you have a little stand. And what I think is really cool is, see at the bottom, there's like a hole. And what you can do is you can clean this too. When you put your dirty brush back in, it might be wet and it'll come out of here. It'll fall in here. And when it does, you can dump this in your toilet, disinfect, disinfect, put it back, put the brush back in. You can leave this like that, or you can put it in this, in this little spot. And I, I think this is cute too, to get like under the brim and you can just keep that behind your toilet. I got some micro microfiber towels. I figured who can, you can never have enough of these. I'm gonna open it up. I uh, do love gray, as you can tell by my house. Um, let me see how many come in here. There's some white and gray and gray. Oh, here they are. So let's just open, it comes with one, two, three, four, five of them. And the gray has a little white line through it. And the white, has the gray. So let's open it up. So it is like a little tiny square. Here's my hand. See? And very, very, very soft. And these will be great for cleaning, dusting and cleaning. So these are going to go right in my kitchen drawer. Great little thing to have. Next item. Pole socks, <laughs> this, is, this is something that everybody should have. You guys remember during COVID, how many times we were all checking our oxygen uh, saturation. And these we use in the hospital for patients when they come in. Here's what it looks like. You put your finger in it and you let it go and it will read out your oxygen. I have not put batteries in here yet. Everybody can use a fingertip pole socks. All right, a kitchen item. Um, look at how it came. This is the box. <laughs> so again, if you're giving these things for gifts, I would not suggest um, thinking that you're going to give it in a box. So you may want to take the item out before you give it to somebody. But this is an edible oil spray bottle. You know when you go to the store and you buy the cans of olive oil spray? They're so, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but five bucks for that is way too much. So I always have a big jug of olive oil in my cabinet and I figured I would just buy the bottle, fill it myself and spray. And guys, it's glass, okay? And this is obviously plastic, but look at the top. 
It's got a nice grip and it's got a nice spray. So obviously you open the top up, you pour your olive oil in here. I do have a funnel, which I would use and you close it up. And then when you're cooking, you just spray it like this and you don't have to spend a fortune on those cans. Pro tip, get one of these. Definitely, definitely get one of these. And if you don't get this from Timu, you can get any kind of uh, spray bottle, but just make sure it's not plastic. You want glass. This is a dog hair remover. You basically just scrape um, the floor, the seats, what have you. I did try it on our rug here, but I feel like it's just too much for the rugs. I think the back of an SUV, I have a Jeep, I think this would be amazing. Uh, and I can't wait to test it out, but this thing got such high reviews and I've seen this on Instagram. I've seen these all over the place. Um, and this price was, I think this was less than $2 to be honest with you. Like I said, I did test this out on our rug, but you see what it's, it's kind of like a serrated, it's like metal and you're supposed to just scrape. You know how like in your car or truck, your dog hair just sticks in there? That's what I got this for. This will help. This will get out all that hair. I don't know about you guys, but my family has a ton of wires. We have cell phone wires, USB wires, chargers, everything. And we do have a drawer in the kitchen that I have beautiful, I made like a customized, I bought the inserts and they all have little spaces, but sometimes you're not in the kitchen. So look what I found. This I thought was really cool. Comes in a box, plain box. Comes wrapped, which I think is very nice. Here's what this is. It's an organizer bin. I think this thing is fabulous. It's hinged, the lid, and here's the little thing to open it up. But I thought for all of our wires and our chargers and let me, let me go get one and show you. All right, so here's the example. See this little thing? This charges something of Jess's. I have no idea what it might be, his headphones. But here's the little bin and you, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You can just put it in. Whoops. There you go. All right, and then I think it snaps shut. Yep, and there you have it. So we are going to be using this. Maybe I'll just give this to Jess and I will probably get one for Brittany because they both have a ton of wires. I have like two and I keep them in my work bag. So uh, I just thought this was great and you can use this for anything. If you are a crafter, right? You can put your little beads in there. You can put really whatever, but I just thought this was great for wires. It's a little organizer box and it's clear so you can see what's in it. And this will go in our kitchen drawer. All right, another thing that you guys are gonna laugh. Okay, so in our backyard, if you've watched my videos before, you know our big giant shed that we have out there that Jess uses for his recording studio. Well, on the side of it, I have these three huge pots of flowers and it has been, the weather here has been so crappy. It's been raining. The flowers are sort of doing all right. They were doing great. And then we have had rain for like, I swear, it feels like a month straight. Every day it's cloudy, it's rainy, it's yucky. And the flowers in those pots are not doing well. The flowers in the front that I planted are doing so well. I guess it's just the pot. I don't know. But don't laugh because I am not in any way a plastic flower person. I don't like plastic flowers. I'm not trying to offend anybody. <laughs> but I bought plastic flowers! And I'm gonna mix them up and put them in the pot. I just wanna see how they turn out. I actually got two bundles. So uh, I should be able to fill up at least two pots. The one pot I have is not so bad, but the other two are terrible. So we will do this together in another video or I'll show you, follow me on Instagram guys. I post all the time over there. So you might see how this looks over there. I don't know. Do any of you guys use plastic flowers like this outside? Let me know. I have never done it, but I'm trying it. All right, this thing Brittany picked out. Do any of you know what this is? 
This is the coolest thing out of this whole thing. This is a bag sealer. So for instance, and I, these are not mine. I pulled these out of our pantry. Fiesta Twist by Old El Paso. So you have a bag. Normally we use one of those chip clips, a rubber band, or what have you. This will seal the bag. Watch how cool this is. So you see this is open, right? Watch this. So you hold it closed. You take your gadget, you put it on, and you close it. And then you run it across the top. And it's sealed. <laughs> How cool! This thing heats, I guess it heats it up. There is a little mechanism inside. See, it takes two batteries and I think that is the coolest thing since sliced bread. This is, this is awesome. Guys, look at this thing. <laughs> this is a crock bag. It has, this is like for the pool or the beach. It's very structured and you can also manipulate it. Uh, it's got the holes. It's got, it looks like a tire for the bottom. And what I think is so amazing about this is if you have kids or yourself and you go to the beach or the pool, you know, sometimes your beach bag comes home full of sand. It smells, whatever. You could take everything out, take a hose, a little bit of Dawn dish soap and just clean it right out. Again, I like things clean. <laughs> so I thought this was really cool and it's fairly large guys. Look at the size of this next to me. You could definitely put flip flops, a towel, a bathing suit, all kinds of stuff in here. And I just think it's great. It comes in a gazillion colors. I went with blue. Don't no rhyme or reason with the blue, but uh, I just thought it was awesome. Look at that. All right. And you know what else this would be good for you moms with small kids? You can keep bathtub toys in here. And I think that would be a great little thing for the kids to pull out and bring into the bathroom with them. You could keep it at the bottom of your linen closet with toys in there or sponges. You could put your cleaning supplies in here. It's just a great little tote and it's cleanable. That's what I like about it. Two more items came. Um, they were both for Brittany, uh, two outfits and one is in the wash because she wore it last night. The other one she's wearing today. They fit her perfectly. She ordered her size, but one up and she loves them. So if you have ordered anything from Timu, let me know what you think. I think like, again, like I said in the beginning, some things exceeded expectation, some things didn't meet up to it and some were just great. I do not like how they're packaged in broken boxes. Uh, I think that ruins it. Cause what if you're giving this as a gift? I don't like that, but the products, you could definitely tell they're not, you know, top of the line. Um, but again, I just, guys, you get what you pay for. If you're spending very little money on things, you can't expect it to be top of the line. But I think some of these things are really good and some of them not so great. Thank you, Timu, for partnering with me. Uh, I am not going to take your payment. Again, I just, I want this to be a true review. Uh, although I do appreciate the offer. So um, that's the Timu haul, guys. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. And it will definitely be carnivore related. Uh, I'll try on the outfits for you. I'll we'll do the flowers. We'll clean the toilet. We'll wax the eyebrows. We'll, we'll clean out the back of my truck with the dog thing. We're going to do everything. I'm going to show you how these things work and I'll incorporate them either on Instagram or in another video. I don't know which. All right. I love you all. I will see you in the next video. Bye.